This channel is proudly sponsored by Erascapes. Check out the Patreon for audio dramas, free previews and exclusive tiers, featuring music, content creation and all things related to professional creativity. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring the Oddity High core book. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this anime-inspired tabletop RPG, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to continue with the character creation process, examining angles, stats and many other things. Let's start with angles and deals. Each real-life playbook has three angles available to it. Think of them as three potential flavors that the playbook can take. Your angles adjust your character's stats and gives them access to specific angle moves that are exclusive to that particular angle. Much like how real-life playbooks have angles, other life playbooks have deals. This helps to color in the framework that the playbook sets, detailing what sort of entity you are, or your main approach to the core elements that the playbook is built from. You also need to determine your name and appearance, certainly. When it comes to abilities and powers, these are clearly the basic larger-than-life abilities that your character can use for whatever roles they'd be applicable for. Now, let's talk about your stats. Your character has six stats that influence most roles. In the case of Guts, this represents your passion, your force of will, and your physical and emotional constitution. In the case of Strangeness, this is how far you are from the standard template of student. It's shared by antisocial weirdos and outstanding idols alike, and it's used when you are pushing the boundaries of the expected. Then you have brain power. It represents your intellect, learning, and your ability to think through your problems. Then we have sense. This is a metric of how well you can keep your head on your shoulders. Sometimes, keeping calm and processing things in a productive way is exactly what the situation needs. Then we have manipulation. This is your ability to convince. Then we have empathy. This represents your ability to read and understand how people are really feeling. Your character can never have a stat higher than plus 3 or lower than minus 2. If something requires you to increase or decrease your stat past this limit, or would shift a stat that cannot be changed due to the limitations of a playbook, modify another stat that makes sense instead. Now we have Obligation. This is a pseudo-stat that's a measure of how much your character's life demands of them. For some, it's the requirements of their home life, their jobs, their academics or their peers. For others, it's honing the skills of pleasing the contacts that allow them to function in a supernatural environment. It's recommended to keep your obligation low, as gaining too much of it can cause your character to have a public breakdown. Your obligation starts at zero, but if you act neglectful towards your obligation, your duties, then this score will increase. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about other things such as conditions and comforts. When it comes to the stats, the angles, the deals, they are just basic principles or rather basic components of your character. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or Drive for RPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment as well. And remember, master roleplay and you will master the game. Once again, thank you and see you later.